Okay, we've just completed reflowing uh, these three motherboards here, and we're actually testing this one out, and um, we can see that it actually works. Uh, this would be the DB6000 uh, motherboard. Note to remember about this, I'm just going to point this out uh, while I'm here. That chip right there, this one, that is the actual BIOS chip on this board. So, keeping in mind that uh, BIOS chips from an Intel system uh, can be used to work with these. So, pulling that chip off and running it through a programmer and saving the file will actually help you if you ever have a uh, brick uh, issue where they just lock up. So, that's something to keep in mind there. But, we're going to let this one run. We know that it's good and it's working. Uh, we see it's been running for two minutes now. What we're going to do is take and uh, clean the heat sink and everything off of it. And then, uh, put it to uh, run for two hours. But, next one we're going to move to is this... Uh, db4 and then after that we'll try the toshiba i don't know if i have a power switch for the toshiba so i might not be able to get that toshiba to turn on but we'll have to see when we get to it but we're going to go to this db4 here in a second and see what happens okay so now we've got our db4 hooked up and what we're going to do is turn it on uh same as we did the other ones and we're going to uh see what happens so we got it uh, powered on. Let's see if we get video out of it. <clears throat> so obviously our board is still presenting a memory uh, error on it. So, what we're going to do now is the same thing that we always do. We're going to check the uh, actual onboard memory and see what is going on with it. So, we're going to unplug this, flip it over, and uh, take our memory sticks out. We noticed that they're uh, DDR2, 2 gig sticks each. So, we're going to pull these out and replace it I can get it to pull out there we go replace it with a 512 which is going to be our uh, test stick and we're going to see what we get out of it like this so we're going to take it put it in here now we're going to replace the jack and turn the system on and see what we get out of it so we have it on and we have video so we know that one of our sticks is probably bad there uh, we'll actually boot it up to the BIOS and see what we get um, so we have either a uh, issue with the slot or an issue with the memory. But um, what we'll do is we'll test it out here in a second, same as we always test everything out. Uh, but we're going to have to move on to the Toshiba and see if we can't get that one to turn on. Uh, but we're going to take this one, turn it off. We'll clean it the same way. Uh, and test our memory sticks one by one and see what we can't find out of them uh, which one's bad or if it's a slot and then we'll go from there and see what we find okay so in the Toshiba we're going to have to go with the policy that um, two out of three worked so uh, we have no power uh, switch for this one to turn it on and uh no way to test it so we're gonna have to leave it like it is and say that 
it works. Um, one way or the other, that's how it's going to have to be. So um, we're going to say this one's done. And then we're just going to move to burning in the other two. And uh, do them the way they're supposed to be done. So uh, that's what we're going to do here in a second. And let that go.